Hi, it's Gail the Planning Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'd like to share with you my 2020 social media planner that I plan to make out of the different materials I already have. So last year, I purchased this planner. It's a vertical planner. I really love it. I love that it was seasonally decorated and I thought that the vertical spread would be something fantastic and that I would use. And as you can see, I didn't much at all. I did here and there, but not often. And then it wasn't until about April I started filling in my planner as a social media planner. And then I made it kind of pretty and made a couple of videos with it and so forth. I found that the monthly view is something I definitely used and would sometimes use a little bit of a checklist for myself in the weekly, not always. So I think for this coming year, I just need a monthly view and then maybe a to-do list. And I thought, I think I have a dashboard extension pack that I bought for the mini and wanted to try out. But I must have dreamt that because I checked my stash and I don't have that. I'm not sure. I think I thought I was going to buy it and then I talked myself out of it. Anyway, I want to do a monthly view and then some sort of a dashboard style to-do list. Here's a wellness planner. This is the mini wellness planner, which I love, love, loved and wanted. It was released around Christmas time of 2018 because it was over Christmas break. It was quite snowy, I remember. And my mom saw it at her Walmart and picked it up for me. And I got it when we were visiting at um, for Christmas dinner. And I think it's beautiful. I had started to set up and thought I would use it and then I never did. It's undated. I did date this month for May because I thought I was going to start. And I started and never used it. So I've got June, July, and August planned there. So I think I'm going to take this unplanned, this undated monthly and I don't know that I'm going to do anything with the interior pages. And I'm going to make it my social media planner. I have a pack of dot grid paper. So I'm going to tear this guy apart and put him back together because I'm actually going to use this planner as my social media planner. I think I want to use some silver and some metal discs. I have these metal discs left over from a different planner. And I think I'll use some silver ones from this planner. Unless I have some metal silvers, which I don't think I do. I just grabbed a couple of my spare metals Let's see, I like the idea of that, but do I want to pull off one of the metals and have it match? Or do I want to do like a middle one? And make a pattern, something like that. It's icy looking, isn't it? So I'm going to need A January. So I'm going to pull from this planner. Let me get this guy out of the way. I'm going to pull from this undated planner at uh, the topmost. And I'm going to need this page as whoops, this page as well. I just need that page. So I'm going to pull, put that guy back in. Okay. And this will be January. You know what? Hold on. Before I even put them in, I should 
make this be January. Now I had the little sheet in here somewhere. I know I did, I saw it. Here it is. Do we have January left? I do, right here. January, and let's put January here. So what's my purpose? My purpose is that I love all the new stuff that comes out or much of the new stuff that comes out and I see it and I want it and I buy it and some things are just sitting here in my room and I don't like that. I don't like that it's just sitting in my room. That bothers me. I need to find when January 1st is. So let me grab this planner. January 1st is a Wednesday. I need to I have numbers. this memory keeping book and there are numbers in here. I want them smaller. Oh, perfect. I'll use these little ones. So what do we say? January 1st is a Wednesday. I have to double check. Yes. So yeah, I have a whole bunch of supplies. I love them. I love buying them. I love knowing that I have them, but I have a whole bunch of supplies. I'm sure I have more than some people. I'm sure I have fewer than some people, but for me, I need to use them. I need to stop spending the money and use what I have and I will happily replace, but I need to use what I have. So, as I was looking at the release of planners and I was thinking to myself, I think I might like to use just a monthly, but then it has all those to-do lists and I thought about a monthly mini. I'm not sure if there is a monthly mini. There probably is. I'm not that versed on the planners, but I, I didn't necessarily see a cover of a mini. Yesterday I was in my Joanne and I was in the happy planner aisle for quite some time. And I was thinking, all right, which which am I going to use? And it's got to be the right cover with the right insides. You know, if anyone from Happy Planner ever is listening, or maybe I just need to let Stephanie, you know, send her a, a text. But it would be fantastic if you could buy your covers and you could buy your inserts separately. And that way you could get exactly what you wanted. You got the cover with the themed divider pages and then you could buy the inserts that you wanted and that they were all sold separately and it was a custom build your own planner type of situation that would be cool i am generally very happy this is my third year happy planning and i've been very happy with all the planners i've purchased but now that i'm using them and i know exactly i guess my style or at least what i think my style is I want what I want, so I'm going to make what I want. I only need the monthly view because I like to look at the monthly view and see what videos are coming up and what I've planned, and this works for me, this monthly view thing. Am I still on camera? Sort of getting to the bottom here. Let me make myself some space. Yeah, and... Um, to-do lists, and I think that's where the filler paper is going to come in, um, and I'll put like a to-do list with it. I may not even need those classic size discs. I probably could stay on mini discs because I don't know that this planner is going to get that chunky, but we shall see. Now, I am not going to sit here and do all these months.
well, I am going to sit here and do all these months, but I'm not going to sit here and do all these months on camera because I honestly don't know that anyone wants to watch that. If I could get it to fast forward super fast, I would, but I have only been able to edit twice the speed, but if I could do it like 10 times the speed or something, that would be really cool. And then I would film the whole thing and then you could watch it in fast motion. Wouldn't that be cool? Speed, but maybe not. So I'm going to make it and then I'm going to share it with you at the end. But I'll show you my first month. 30 days, half September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31. Except February. All right, so there is the month of January. Ready to go. I like it, and I put the January on the tab. So let me slip January into my planner. And as I said, I think what I will need is just like a, a to-do kind of a thing. So I'm going to take some filler paper. I was thinking of making a, um, like a dashboard type of deal. I think I'm just gonna put in two. I don't want this page to show. So I'm gonna grab my Tombow and I'm going to put some Tombow right here on the edge where the page turns because otherwise it'll split. And I'm going to turn this sheet over and line it up and smooth it down. And then that way it's just one page. And then I have a spot for making lists. And you know, I love washi and I think I'm going to use some decorative washi just to split my list areas up. Let me grab some. This is simply gilded washi and I love this one. It's the deer. I don't necessarily want to use a ton of it in because I'm kind of saving it for my January cards. But I think it would be pretty maybe just to put here and there. Do I want to split the days or maybe just decorate here at the bottom? That is a very good question. Because I definitely would like a to-do list. And in all of these Happy Planner books, I'm sure there are to-do lists, like tons and tons of them. So let me grab some of those. Actually, here in my mom. I'm going to do some prioritize. And that way I can write up like a list. And I'm going to use this get it done just because it's blues and why not? And I have some bullets in the blues. And I think I'm just going to make myself a list of, I have four, so I'll do these four. And then if I need more space, I can create it as I go. So a little list. Let's see if I have anything I need to I can use up here. I love this. This is your year. I'm going to use it because it's January. It's 
going to be good. Best year ever. And I'm going to decorate that here. Ha ha. Yep. All right. So I'll frou-frou this up as I go. But I think that looks good. And now I'm going to keep moving forward with February and all of the other months. And I'll share with you what I have at the end. So I just wrapped up putting the last little bit from the mini wellness planner into my next year social media planner. And I dated everything using this book as I had showed you earlier. And I had some extra filler paper that I used as well. So I'm gonna set this guy aside and keep him. He is undated. I'm sure there are some things I can do. I like this goals page. Uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna to toss that. I'm gonna keep it. But this is what my planner looks like. So I dated January, as you saw, and added a little decoration. And February and a place for me to write some lists as I need to. March. I forgot the word May. Let's grab one. I think it was about this month that I stopped adding some of the decoration. No. <laughs> June. I need some paper here for July. Let me grab some. It's a good thing I'm going through. There we go. So I did leave some space to decorate priorities lists and that will be fun as the year progresses but they're all dated and there's paper added I had to put a sticker here because I had actually dated this page and I needed to use the undo to remove the prior stickers and then same with December this was dated and I had to take off the stickers and that's it it ends with some paper so my social media planner is all ready for 2020. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and you'll want to hit that notification bell so you don't miss the rest of the 2020 planner lineup. Check out my other videos here on the playlist. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.